Good evening, my friends. Once again, from the City of the Dead, but this time from the northern part of the City of the Dead. Where am I going? And in this video, we're not going to visit much of the City of the Dead. We're going to head very soon to a place which is quite famous and quite specific to Cairo also, like the City of the Dead, a place called the Trash City. And uh, it's very interesting because it's a place where basically people gather all the trash from the city, they sort it there, and they make money from the trash. And it's interesting also because it's uh, done by, uh, mostly by Christian people. Originally it was a slum. <laughs> well, it's still a slum, but uh, it's in concrete. Anyway, let's go discover the, this trash city, or in French it's called Le Quartier des Chiffonniers. From here, from the middle of, I don't know, I took an arrow alleyway and now I don't know where I am. You see always the water for people. This is because it's the desert here. So in the desert you always have to be hospitable. Otherwise uh, visitors, travelers could, be, could die from the, from the heat. So the traditions of the desert are always, desert people are always traditionally hospitable because of that of the harshness of the climate. You see a beautiful house here in the City of the Dead and a minibus. Malaga. Hello! That's the entrance! Actually, I didn't have any food yet. It's almost it's it's uh, half past three in the afternoon, I think. So let's try to find some food first before diving into the into the, uh, the garbage city itself. We are right at the edge of it now. Assalamualaikum. Camera, okay? okay? It's no okay, no okay. Okay. Can I have a juice? Carrot. Carrot juice? Yes. We can? 12. 12? No. Can, can I have one head? Carrot juice? Yes. Please. Sugar. Huh? Hamsin. Hamsin? Hamsin? Oh, that's expensive. <laughs> sour, sour. It's smack. It's smack. What is your name? What is your name? Rejo. Rejo. Mustafa. Mustafa. Ah. Inta Mustafa. Ah, okay. Inta Am. Eh? Am. Amu. Am. Amir. Yes. Which one? I don't understand. Sorry. Eh? Shoe. Shoe? I la Arabic. La Arabic. Arabic. Shui shui. Shui shui shui. Yeah, sometimes I can understand. Yes. But most of the time I don't understand. Where are you? France. 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 I feel France. I feel Bourgeois. Sorry. Fali comes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have Rafali. Yeah, good. Rafali. لا فرنسي ولا فرنسي بلد ماكرون بيعملوا ال أحلى تشيز نسكو تشيز تشيز yeah we lot of cheese in France let's have this carrot juice oh it's so fresh I was starving <laughs> Very good. Yeah. 
It's time in the in the city itself now. So to give you a brief history of this place, basically this place started in the 40s or in the 50s when a lot of uh, farmers from south, from Upper Egypt, from South Egypt, started to migrate to Cairo to because of poverty to find a better life, and they started to build a lot of. Uh, oh, yeah, hi, hello, hello, hi. <laughs> hello. They started to build a lot of illegal buildings, which uh, all those buildings behind me were uh, probably built illegally at first. And then that's how they... Assalamu like alaikum. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Good, good, good. I'm So what was I saying? So people started to build uh, these illegal buildings, and uh, but they didn't find any any... Uh, job anyway, any, any, they didn't find how to live. So slowly, slowly, they started uh, gathering garbage and sort the garbage and sell it again. And that's how this neighborhood started in the 40s and the 50s. And because in southern Egypt, it's, uh, there are a lot of Christians. That's why it's uh, probably th that's one of the reasons why. That's one of the reasons it's uh, largely populated by uh, by Christians here. This way. Okay, shukran. Shukran. This way. Okay, shukran. And there is not only this city, but because of course, uh, up. Up the hill, because it's up the hill, there is actually a church. So we're gonna go for uh, to visit this garbage city and then head to the church. Wow, look at those narrow alleyways. So I think this first area we crossed was, uh, was still a Muslim area. And here you see the trash. You know what is very bad also in this neighborhood is that uh, basically, hi, hi, baby, baby. baby. <laughs> the one of the big problems of this area is also wow, wow. Start to smell a lot of the trash. Is that there is a. Uh, no sewage system, often no electricity, and no running water as well. So it's very, very bad conditions for the people who live here. Assalamu alaikum. Sayak. Alhamdulillah. Good, good. <laughs> good, have a good day. You can see a religious uh, thing on top, up here, up there. Assalamu alaikum. Huh? Sorry, I don't know how to say it. Sorry. I'm from France. Football? No, it's okay. No. <laughs> you want to play, pass? Yes. Hello. Ah, let's go this way. Hi. Hello. Hello. Zayak. Good. Good. 
And as you see, well, if people are very poor here, well, they look poor at least, but they're very friendly actually. It's uh, really, really surprising. Not all the neighborhoods are, the, are that friendly in Cairo. Sour, sour. Sour, sour. Good, good. What, what's this? Basbusa. 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 Oh, it looks nice, yeah. Uh, Maybe can I can I try some? Yes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One kilo. No, 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 one kilo. Just, uh, just little, little. Robert. Eight, eight, eight. No, 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 no. Just. Ah, uh, no, wait, it's okay. Wait. What do you have? Wait, wait, wait. Just try, just try. Can, can you give me what? Uh, one head like this, one head like this. Kunafa, kunafa. This is kunafa. Oh, the kunafa. Oh, nice. I want kunafa. I want kunafa. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, it's nine, it's nine. Kunafa, kunafa. Indeed. Become. Kunafa, di. Kunafa. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Enough, 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 enough. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like this, okay? Okay, shukran. Oh, this is Can I sit? No, no, it's okay. Halas. It's okay. Shukran, shukran. Shukran, shukran. Uh, can I sit here? Yes. Or oh, just to. Just for. Oh, wait. I, I, I go around. It's half kunafa, Egyptian kunafa. I, I just go here. Okay. Shukran. <laughs> Let's have an Egyptian kunafa here. Nice. Woo. It's been a while I didn't have kunafa actually. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it's different. There is no cheese inside. It, it's different from what I'm used to. Salam alaikum. Eve. 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 What's your name? Mark. Mark. Nice to meet you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Very sweet. Oh. Very good. Actually, I forgot I need to find food. I didn't have lunch. Mm. Oh. Let's go, okay, fresh. 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 Okay. Okay, so I have this fresh. Let's go, say fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Mumtaz, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tayyip. 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 Mumtaz, Mumtaz. Basbuse. Basbuse, Basbuse. Okay. This is the delicious basbus. What's your name? Esma. Magdi. Magdi. Uh, uh, basbus Magdi. Ah, uh, okay. Twenty-two years. Eh? Oh, twenty-two years. Oh, oh. oh wow. Okay. Good, good, good. A lot of experience. Yeah. Twenty. It's been twenty-two years he does this, so he has a lot of experience. What's your job, man? In America. Anna, France. 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 Welcome to Egypt. Shukran. Shukran. Can you take a look at this France? Huh? Take a look at this France. Sorry, Arabic. No fish. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Sweet France. Ah, sweet. Ah, different. Very different. Yeah. This is no in France. No. 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 How much per kilo? Can how much? Ah, per kilo. This. How much? I don't know, but maybe this per kilo in France. Maybe twenty, thirty dollars. I think I, I think thirteen dollar. Dollar. Video, video. Video. Hmm. Very good. I give like half a penny. No, it's okay. Alas, if you can. Okay. Do you know? Shukran. Do you know Matram? Matram? Do you know where I can eat? Oh. Akel. Oh. Akel here. No. This way, no? Oh. oh, okay. Shukran. What's your name? Eve. Uh, my name is Eve. Okay, I don't understand. So I don't understand. So yeah, sour, sour, yeah, film. 
So, Shukan, Shukan Magdi. Let's go back down and let's go to the church afterwards. Because first, uh, bye bye. <laughs> we need to find food. I had the dessert before the main meal, the main uh, course, but um, let's go get some food. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Camera. Camera okay? No. No, no, okay. Okay, bye. Huh? Okay. Fin. Sour, yeah, yeah. Yeah, eat here. Yeah, yeah, eat here. But if uh, it's okay, okay. <laughs> the guy is smart because he said, "No, let him film. Then he's gonna eat here." Uh, become uh, this. Huh? Teratin. Okay. So this is the same. This is what? A suri. A suri? A suri. A suri. Uh, become Hamasush. Hamasush. Okay, can I get one head like this? Wahid? Yeah, yeah. Matotis or Lebanese? Uh, Lebanese. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Asmaq. Huh? Muhammad. Muhammad. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. Sorry, I don't. Arabic, Arabic. Arabic, no. 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 Bye, bye. Have a good day. Actually, I want same like this. Okay, go ahead like this. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> wow, very good. <laughs> Very good, Jai Jai, Mumtaz. <laughs> so this is cheese. Yeah. You see, he puts cheese on the on the tip of it. Wow. Sony. Sony for qué? Sony for Kenya. Yeah. Shukran Habibi. Shukran Habibi. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sony for K. My name is Eve. What's your name? Muslim, Muslim or Masihi? Masihi. Masihi? Yeah. Balad of Kerry. Huh? Balad of Kerry. Fransa. Fransa? Yeah. Welcome to Cairo. Shukran, Shukran. Sour, okay. sick, sick. Sour, sour. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go back up towards the, the church. I have my, my meal finally. So he made a small drawing here. Mmm. Very good. Some chicken, bell pepper, olives, all that. Nicely, nicely roasted. Assalamualaikum. You can, see, you can see the Christian thing up there. And you can see all the Christian signs. Uh, I don't know where is the where is the church. Let's go left. And one of the main differences also with the other parts of Cairo is, of course, most of the women, uh, their head is not covered. And you can see also, I mean, the women don't talk to me, but at least the little girls, you know, the kids, the boys, they say hello, like everywhere. But here also the little girls say hello.
So you can see all the sorting of the trash is made uh, outside basically. And that's the entrance to go to the church. And here we arrive towards the church, guys. So as you see, it's just below a, a mountain, small hill, just in the cliff. You have scenes of the Bible all over the cliff. Shukran. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, yeah. You will take a big break. You will take a big break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. Wonderful. A friendly pop. Here in the, oh, there is a zip line. You can, it's, it's working actually. Maybe I'm gonna do the zip line as well. Look at that. There is someone on the zip line up there. And here is the entrance of the church. And look, you have it's sunset time, and you have scenes on the, of the Bible everywhere. Speaking yeah, I speak English. Yeah. I speak English and Arabic. You speak English and Arabic. Good. I speak uh, Shwe Shwe Arabic. No, but no, like. No, I'm sure Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Look at the entrance of the church. So actually the church was built in the 70s or 80s. So it's, uh, it's very recent. But actually the place, as a, as a place of worship, is very old and is very important for, uh, for uh, the Copt here in Egypt. It's very linked to their history here. And here we are. So this church, as you see, is quite gigantic. It's a cave church because somewhere there is, there is a holy place linked to the history of the Copts here in Egypt. And, uh, and it is the biggest church in the Middle East. And it is one of the biggest cave churches in the world, actually. And let's see the view over Cairo, guys. Very nice. You see, so that oh, there is a religious figure here, the gigantic church, and uh, and a zip line. Everything you need to know. So basically, just to explain you for the church, the church is called the Church of Saint Simon. I think the story takes place about 1,000 years ago, on the year 979. So it was probably the Fatimid dynasty already here in Egypt. So of course, Islamic rulers. But you had also. Salam alaikum. Uh, you just go through the. Uh, on, you see the, the big entrance? You go down and you go in the middle. Yes, it was an Islamic ruler, but at that time. And of course, it was uh, also Jewish people living in here in Egypt. And uh, Christian people, of course, because both Jewish people and Christian people lived in Egypt before Islam existed, of course. And the story says that it was some. Uh, some fights, not some fights, but some arguments between the Jews and the Christians. And uh, the Christians were like uh, making fun of the Jews because like, oh, you know, like the Messiah came. And you Jews, you're still Jewish, you didn't become Christian, you could not see the real Messiah. You, you, the, the Christians were making fun of the Jewish, of the Jews because, uh, because the Messiah already came, but they did not recognize him. So they are waiting for nothing now, basically. Let's say that's the story. So then the Jewish people were uh, not happy about that and they complained to the Islamic ruler saying, ah, you know, those Christians, they are like uh, behaving very bad towards us. They are making fun of us. Uh, can, you, can you do something about it? The, uh, the ruler uh, started to, he studied the case, let's say, and he realized that, okay, the Christians were in fact not very really nice to the Jewish people. So the, the, the Islamic ruler was then not happy about that and then he decided to find a way to kick the Christians out of Egypt. He could not just decide it like that without any reason, so he, he decided to, to prove that the Christianity was wrong as a religion. And he took the Bible, read everything, and tried to find something that would be easy to prove that 
the Christian religion is wrong. So he found something somewhere in the Bible that says that at some point, somewhere, Christians, in, in certain cases, Christian people should be able to move mountains. They should be able to displace a mountain. So then he went to the Christians and said, okay, you, don't, you did that to the, to the Jewish people, so now I'm going to ask you, I'm going to give you three days to you to move the Mokat, Mokatam, Mokatam mountain, which is this mountain, to move it. You have three days to move it to prove me that Christianity, that your religion is true, and if, you, if you're not able, to, as the Bible says, you can do it, if you're not able to do it, then you'll have to, to go away from Egypt. So then the Christians were like, wow, that's complicated. That's something difficult. So they started to pray, pray the first day, the second day, they prayed to move the mountain, and the mountain did not move. And then, I don't remember all the story, but basically, Simon, so the guy who was going to become Saint Simon, uh, he had an eye. For some reason, I think he did something bad, maybe it's to, to someone or to some Jewish people or something. He did something bad and someone re uh, made him lose an eye. He lost the eye. So then he had only one eye. And for some reason, on the third day, the, uh, Simon started to pray. And I don't remember. Correct me in the comments. I don't remember the exact story, so correct me in the comments to complete the story, please. But basically, on the third day, Simon prayed for the mountain and he managed to move this mountain, I think three kilometers. So the mountain was somewhere else in Cairo, three kilometers, maybe let's say somewhere this way. And Simon moved the mountain here. And thanks to this miracle, then the Christians were allowed to stay in Egypt. So basically that's why, uh, sorry for the long story, but that's why this place is very, very important for, the, for Christian people, for Coptic people here in Egypt, because this mountain and this church is actually the reason why uh, Christian people are allowed to stay in Egypt and can't be kicked out. Because 1,000 years ago, they were able to move this mountain. Well, the story says, sorry, I'm not very religious, but uh, the story says that they were able to move this mountain and that gave them the right to stay, to remain here in Egypt. So that's why this place is very holy for Christians, for the cops here. What a long talk in the biggest church in the Middle East. Let's see if I can do the zip line. And there is the zip line. Let's see if I can do it. That's it, I'm ready actually. <laughs> when do I pay? I pay now or after? No, no, after. After, okay. Yeah. Okay, can go with him. I go with What's him. Captain, yeah. Okay. What's this? GoPro? Camera? No, it's like GoPro, same, yeah. similar, but it's Sony. Beautiful. Nice, huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, beautiful view over Cairo, eh? Yes. Wow. Ah, oh, the pyramids we cannot see now. No, no. Uh, it's behind there, no? Yes. Okay. One minute. Okay. No? And your hand? My yes. hand here? Yes. Two, two hands here, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sit down. Sit down? Yes. Okay. Where? Here? Here. Okay. Here. Okay, sit down. Now? Yes. Okay, now? Okay. You ready? Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, yes. 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 Wow! Oh, what the fuck? Woohoo! Oh. It's okay, it's not too fast. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. See you for the next adventures. Ciao.